Now, it's thought that persons with infectious diseases like HIV would only go to specific locations for care. But that's not the case. In fact, they reason they can be treated by their primary care physician. Director of the National HIV AIDS and Infectious Disease Program, Dr. Nakia Forbes, explains. Any practitioner, a general practitioner, may treat HIV patients. They may see the patient in their office. They'll write a prescription for the patient. The patient can come into some of our, our treatment sites and access treatment. And that includes the HIV Center and Princess Margaret Hospital, for example. And so any provider is able to do that. Now, there are other providers, we, we call them trusted providers, that work closely with our programming, and they're very, very experienced. We will not see the patient. They will stay usually within private care. And so we need, but we still do need accurate information. We need information on the number of new patients they are seeing. We need information on treatment and treatment pickup. We need one single profile from those providers. We will need a viral load test at least annually. Sometimes for some patients, we do it more frequently. And that brings us to confidentiality, which is also a must based on stringent protocols, as echoed by Health and Wellness Minister, the Honorable Dr. Michael Darville. Confidentiality is a high priority at the Ministry of Health and Wellness to ensure them uh, that the program that is funded by the government will continue and uh, to also indicate that it is important uh, to ensure that uh, constant uh, monitoring and care is a vital tool to ensure that they stay healthy.